Hey everybody, it's Jeff, Aromatics, back with another pipe tobacco review. How do you like that? Get right into it, really concise. Uh, I know that a lot of people uh, in the pipe, pipe tobacco community, uh, they usually have a little bit of small talk, talk about some things in their lives, and to us that are in the community or make videos, a lot of us, we watch each other's videos, we're interested in each other's lives, so that's pretty... Uh, pretty important to us but I imagine sometimes when you're look, just looking up for a particular pipe tobacco review you probably just want to get right to it so that's usually how I try to keep my videos although I do want to start doing a series uh, just called tobacco talk where I'll just talk about things maybe a little bit beyond just straight reviews and pipes things like that the only thing that's holding me back is I need to get better lighting in the area where I want to do it and that area is where I roll my cigars so I think that'd be perfect I could roll some cigars maybe smoke a pipe and just have a little bit of a longer video just delve deeper into some different topics but anyway until then we're gonna do this pipe tobacco review and it is on Kendall Galvin Hogarth's Kendall Kentucky vintage cut so what this is, is a straight Kentucky. Normally it comes in a shag cut, but they've been doing a vintage cut lately. And what that is, is uh, just more of a traditional type of ribbon cut. I'll show you a picture of it here. And I even did a comparison to show you what the, the old, you know, or the regular shag cut is like, as well as the new vintage cut. Give you an idea of the difference between the two. They're both really good cuts. They both burn good. Um, I like them both. They both have their their place although I think I'm maybe starting to prefer the vintage cut just because it it's a little bit it's just as easy to light and burns almost as good it, it I just like it a little bit better because if you can smoke it a little bit quicker it's, it's a little more forgiving as well as it, sometimes the shag it'll get a little bit more it could get a little acrid towards the bottom once it gets burnt and ashy let me take a sip of my coffee here so I have it packed in my Pipe that was given to me by Andrew Serviliano. I really like this pipe. I am limited a little bit to what I can smoke in it just because it's so deep. So I have to have tobaccos that I can, uh, that are, that I'm able to pocket, uh, put just a pinch in there without it falling through. So a ribbon cut like this actually works perfect. So I also use this for uh, English blends as well. It's a really good English smoking pipe. So, okay, the smell I'm getting is, uh, first thing I get, it's really nice. I really like it is a nice rich sweet smoky um, floral uh, just a little bit of floral but mostly sweet and smoky there's definitely uh, a light lakeland casing so what uh, lakeland is for those of you who don't know um, it's just sort of a light kind of perfumey um, sweet smell to me it reminds me of aftershave depending on the tobacco right but this one kind of reminds me of aftershave as well as say um, the the dark the dark flake scented stuff like that kind of really gives me that that kind of vibe too but this is really lightly lightly applied and it's just enough to to make what could be a, a more of a, a stronger darker tobacco taste a little bit sweeter it really actually um, does a good job of bringing up the sweetness that's naturally in a dark fire tobacco when it's done right so okay let's light it up and uh, see what we're getting So the first thing I notice is that sweet smoky taste. It has been mentioned that there seems to be sometimes two types of dark fire. One that is mostly floral and kind of mild and woody tasting and then other types that are more uh, smoky barbecue. This is kind of both. It has a little bit of both. It's kind of complex that way. It, it's deep as well. It kind of reminds me a little bit of a uh, a type of a cigari, a little bit of cigar taste there. And a little bit of that, that sweet uh, Lakeland thing going on. I like it. it it's it, There's a, probably a little bit of nuttiness there. It seems like I can taste a bit of nuttiness, but it's probably being overtaken by the, by that smoky, dark fired flavor. Yeah, I almost wish I would have stocked up more on this uh, instead of Dark Bird's Eye. Dark Bird's Eye is what I actually uh, stocked up most on, mostly on back in the day, just because I thought it'd be more complex and it was just easily more easily available at the time. Um, but I have found lately that 
I actually think I prefer the, especially lately, I prefer, maybe my tastes have just changed, but the dark fire, because I think I'm more, this in this stage of my smoke, uh, pipe smoking, I'm kind of going more towards the burly side of things and the Virginia, although I still love my Virginias. I just, uh, lately, I just really starting to enjoy burlies and just that sweetness and nuttiness that they have. So this has been appealing to me. But for those of you who, uh, who are interested, I've actually loaded up another pipe with some dark bird's eye to give you a comparison. Because back in the day, I was kind of um, always wondered what the difference was. Because at first, when I tried tried them, I actually couldn't really taste a big difference. But now that I'm more familiar with them uh, and my palate's a little bit better, I can definitely taste a difference. So I think I thought I would share that with you guys. So I've got the dark bird's eye packed up in my hardwood poker, which I've been smoking a lot of. I really like this pipe. I'm just, everything about it is great. It smokes good. The only thing I'm worried about is whether or not it, it gets, if you smoke it too much, that it'll get wet. Because uh, I don't know how well, like some pipes will get skunky if they get too wet all the time. So I don't know how hardwood does compared to briar, but so far so good. If I smoke two bowls a day, I usually give it about three days to rest. So the first thing I notice is it's definitely not as deep and as rich as the as the Kendall Kentucky. It's a little more cigarette-y. Oh, and so the Dark Bird's Eye is, it's got the same dark fired in it as far as I know, but it's also got some dark fired Virginia. Which usually I find stronger than the their Kelvin and Bogart's Dark Fired Virginia. I usually find uh, quite a bit stronger than their uh, Dark Fired Burleys. Maybe because they're not quite as sweet. Still got a little bit of that floral Lakeland, although it burns off a little quicker. You always taste that sweet, uh, that sweet uh, Lakeland uh, on the boat the dark, the dark, the Kentucky, but not quite as much on the dark bird's eye. Although you do taste it at first, but it flashes off quicker. So this is, yeah, a little bit, um, a little bit more cigarette -y, a little bit harsher, but like you can feel it more in the back here. It's not as rich, but it's a little bit, you know, it's got more, um, like a little bit more harshness to it in a good way. I like that kind of harshness and a little bit of tang from the Virginias. I like them both, they're both really good tobaccos. All right, so that was just a little bonus for you there. Um, I, I couldn't decide which one I wanted to smoke today too, so I thought, hey, what the heck, I'll just pack them both and I'll go back and forth while I have my coffee. They're both, they both are great. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed my review and uh, I'll leave it at that and I'll see you on my next one. So till then, Aromatics, signing out.